and I thank the general lady for her leadership. Mr. Speaker, I rise today because I believe Americans are compassionate people. I also believe Americans are angered by injustice, and I know Americans are eager to protect the defenseless. In a past hearing before the Judiciary Committee on this bill, Dr. Maureen Condick said in her testimony, quote, imposing pain on any pain-capable living creature is cruelty, and ignoring the pain experienced by another human individual for any reason is barbaric, unquote. H.R. 36, the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, gives us a chance to choose compassion by preventing abortions from taking place if the child is 20 weeks or older. Science proves that not only can these children feel pain, but since their pain inhibitors are undeveloped, they feel pain even more intensely than we can. In Dr. Kondik's words, quote, we simply have to decide whether we will choose to ignore the pain of the fetus or not, unquote. Mr. Speaker, I am choosing not to ignore their pain. I strongly urge my colleagues to support this compassionate bill, and I yield back the balance of my time.